Hi, I'm Jayan, co-founder and CTO of Gamma Technologies. Hi, my name is Camilia Jamaati and I am a software developer uh, and m mostly work on the client side of Gamma. Hello, my name is Rizky Hakiki. I'm a BIM software engineer in Gamma AR. One of my responsibilities basically is to connect BIM models into augmented reality. The version 3 has been developed to be able to support the models that come from the Navis work and also we did a core optimization to make the app more efficient. The introduction of Navisworks files in Gamma AR brought in a lot of new challenges. Um, Navisworks is used by our clients to combine models from different disciplines into one big model. So they can do collision detections, they can uh, check misalignments and reduce costs with this in the planning phase already. So these models are then shared and uh, as, a, as one big model uh, to go on site. In version 3 specifically, we are focused on processing Navisworks model, which our users use as the federated models of the project. They, they usually contain the whole architectural models, structurals, electrical, and other NV models into a single file. The challenge is because this file is huge, uh, that we have to process this model while keeping the size and the processing times as low as possible. As we know, our app runs on the smart devices, uh, which are short in terms of memory and uh, computational abilities. And in, in order to be able to um, support the models that come from Nevis work, which are really uh, big and have a lot of complexity, we uh, had to do a core, a very core intense optimization for our application so that uh, it runs faster and more efficient on, on the phones. I developed the processing machines to optimize the models, whether they are in IFC, Revit, or Navis works, so that they are augmented reality compatible and can be loaded efficiently on mobile devices due to hardware limitations. My main task as a client developer in Gamma was to uh, implement the features uh, in order to support the models that come from the Navis work. And also I devised some uh, methods to reduce the size of the models with high complexity and for them to uh, run faster and more efficient on client side. In general, in this Gamma IR version 3, we could decrease the processing time to be at least 50% faster and also increase the efficiency while loading it on mobile devices. A new version enables the users to bring highly complex models to the construction sites uh, and before we um, could only run the uh, application on high-end um, smart devices, but now with this core optimization that we've done, uh, our application can be run can be run on a, a, a wider range of devices, which are which have mediocre um, memory or, or uh, complex com com computational abilities. Also, the size of the models has also uh, decreased, which means lesser time to download and uh, read them from the memory. We also introduced a new feature for drift corrections. If you're using augmented reality on any kind of device, uh, you're going to have some kind of drift. And uh, to tackle this, since we have the model and the reality, we can compare each other. So. We compare the, the reality and the model to uh, allow you to align the model back to the actual position using just one or two clicks. For our EU customers, we have also introduced a new data location which, uh, in which all the data is completely located in the EU.